a lot of sand, dirt, grit down there, and you get it on those hot tires. Jimmy Johnson is a, he's a, his car is way off. He's been struggling the last several laps. I've watched him. He's lost lots of positions, and now he goes a lap down. Matt? Well, a scheduled stop for Jimmy Spencer. Lap 128, just like Tommy Baldwin told Spencer a little while ago on the radio. They already made a chassis adjustment coming around to the left side as we have a lead change on second place. Change for second place, 24 car. Service complete for Spencer. First time we've seen this today. First long green flag run of the afternoon. They did Kurt, right. Kurt Busch, he almost, he missed pit road. There, we just talked about it. The 97 car, he completely missed pit road. It yeah. sneaks up on him. Got to go around again. You get down in and you get that sand and grit on your tires, the, the, the car won't turn. And he has it on there now by being down there, and he can't even hardly get back up to speed. This is going to cost him a lot of time. Now, watch him right here to turn three and four. There's the entrance to pit road right there. And it's, it, as you can see, it's right in the middle of turn four. And there he comes. Oh, yeah. Can't make way, it, can't make it. Way, way too fast. He completely missed it. Yeah. I mean, you have to remind your driver, you're trying to do all you can. It's a green flag pit stop. You have to remind him on the front stretch. You have to remind him to get on the back stretch about the entrance to pit road. And now he comes in <laughs> extra slow. Yeah, he pulls gonna... up Casey Mears and Rusty Wallace <laughs> almost run right over him. Yeah, you're not going to mess up this tackle. I'd have messed up once. <laughs> Joe Nemechek working on Dale Earnhardt Jr. This is now for third place. Remember, Jeff Gordon's going past for second. And don't forget that Joe Nemechek's crew chief almost won this race a couple of times with uh, with Mayfield here in the 12 car. Dick Bergeron. Well, Kurt Busch has got a whole bunch of things that they want to try to do to this car on this pit stop. They're changing the wedge on it, changing tire pressure. They also had to pull the tear off off the windshield. He's having a hard time seeing. They did not know Point leader Matt Kenseth at the end. Casey Mears completing his stop, going out. Mark Martin in the six car. Tony Stewart in the 20 car. Jimmy Johnson, who just went a lap down. He's on pit road along with Elliot Sadler, Dave Blaney. This is the deal. It's a domino effect. Once a few cars start to pit, you can't be far behind them. Dale Jarrett, the 88 car. He comes to pit road as well. Steve Burns. Mark Martin will have to get in just ahead of the 23 of Kenny Wallace. Slides into his pits to the right of the pit, but he's safely inside. Todd Ziggler changing the front tires. We're slating on the rear tires. The Jack Band, Chris Webb, Rich Mashinsky, the Gas Band. No adjustment, just a little air pressure out of the front tires for Mark Martin. Jeff Gordon's on pit road in the 24 car. Dale Jarrett, Dale Earnhardt Jr., he's finally on the pit road. Jeff Gordon has now led 18 of his 21 Winston Cup starts at Darlington. He's had six victories here. Now, Nemechek's the leader right now. Boy, all these guys that have made pit stops, they are just going by him left and right, left and right. He couldn't get in the pit if he wanted to, Steve. Well, D.W. Dale Hart Jr. says his car's got just a little bit loose. They're going to change four tires, half a pound of air in the right front. Matt Yoke. Steve LaTard already makes the wedge adjustment on Jeff Gordon's car. He said back on lap 104, the car was starting to go loose. Lap 125, really loose. Service complete. Steve Burns. Well, Matt Dale Hart Jr. discussed not making any changes at all, but again, a half a pound in the right front tire, that number eight car. And boy, our leader is just giving up. Joe Nemechek's leader, he's giving up so much right now. He's finally coming to pit road now, Daryl. I mean, yeah, that, he couldn't run any further. But Peter Suspenzo almost won the race here a couple of times with Jeremy Mayfield when they were in the 12 car. That's Joe's crew chief, so he knows how to set a car up for this joint. Doesn't surprise me to see that 25 car running up front like that. Nemechek gets an extra two or three laps from uh, that set of tires. Yeah, his car didn't look bad. It wasn't like it was handling bad. It was just slow. Like I say, he couldn't get out of the way fast he, enough. I think he wanted to get to pit for two laps. He couldn't get out. Well, let's keep track. His last lap on the old tires was 33.58 seconds. We'll have a look at how he runs with new tires once he gets back up to speed. Elliot Sadler back up to fifth place. Matt? Mike, as the pit stops continue to cycle out here, Elliot Sadler has climbed himself back into the top five. He pitted back on lap 133. He's been loose and tight back and forth all day. He was a tick free on that last run. They made an air pressure adjustment and also a wedge adjustment on the pole sitter. So the 
the pole sitter is fifth. Our point leader, Matt Kenseth, is fourth. Jeff Gordon is third. Mark Martin has now reassumed the lead in the Pfizer Viagra Ford at 136 laps. But Mike, you just mentioned him. I'm telling you, this guy right here, what a roller coaster day. Good pit stop like normal. And he's actually going to be running third now that all the pit stops have cycled under green. Yeah, he's our point leader. And, you know, if he keeps doing it, this is what you have to do to win championships. Have trouble, overcome them. Mark Martin out in front at Darlington after 136 laps.